see you're feeling down Don't need to hide from me I know you always feel too much You think that there's no way out There's no one you can trust Don't you worry down to you and me I'll always be Hundred and three, you'll be. 
beside me and you better believe oh baby i'm still crazy about you Kicked when you're down Just makes it worse There's no way out There's no return I can feel the heat I feel the burn The only way to get on through it Is to put your head down and get to it Stuck between a hard place and a rock Between a hard place and a rock Nothing's easy truth Oh, if you're trying you just can't lose Just can't lose everybody thanks for tuning in I got this feeling deep in my bones that you and me were still solid as a stone oh baby I'm still crazy about you Just because I felt so hard for you, oh baby, I'm still crazy about you. Sometimes the world gets so insane, it's easy to forget the fact we'll remain, oh baby, I'm still crazy about you.
my bones that you and me were still solid as a stone. Oh, baby, I'm still crazy about you. And you, oh, baby, I'm still crazy about you. That's called Still Crazy About You from my latest album called Tired of Talking. We're going to play another one for you now. This one is called Wasting My Time. You don't feel nothing at all You know I love you, baby But you make it so hard sometimes You know I love you, baby But you make it so hard sometimes Go on, do what you do Stop the wasting my time evening all of our friends out there on Facebook thank you so much my name is Steve Strongman thank you for being here over here on the base this evening we have the one and only Colin Lapsley I know I can hear thunderous screaming and applause right now back here on the drums we have the one and only Mr. Dave King and uh, I am so thrilled and excited <laughs> oh yeah let's try the applause machine We are uh, we are very excited to uh, to get a chance to um, you know be playing together. We've been rehearsing and, and really enjoying it. And social distancing in place, of course. Uh, just as an aside, the band uh, all of us have, have been tested, and thankfully we are all negative and all that. But we wanted to get that Except I'm out of the way too. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we found out for my test. That's right. So um, as uh, as strange as as this is, um, this is our only option right now. But um, I I really appreciate the fact that you're tuning in. Send some of your friends out the link. If they don't know that this is happening tonight, uh, the more the merrier. So make sure you check it all out. And uh, we're going to be playing a bunch of tunes from, uh, from our latest album, which is called uh, Tired of Talking. And uh, so I figure that uh, we're going to go to that one right now. This is a tune that uh, is featured on that record. It's called Tell Me Like It Is. Said 
And she does, and she does it. Now it's like a bee won't stop buzzing round your head. Well, there's a will, there's a way. Don't you worry and get it straight. I'm in no hurry, I can wait. Oh, yeah. You got to tell me like it is. Tell me like it is. Tell me like it is, won't you? Here I am, and I'm listening, trying to understand your position. But there's a point I must be missing, oh yeah. I know it's hard, but what is it? If we ain't losing, we must be winning. Oh yeah. You got to tell me like it is. Tell me like it is. Tell me like it is. Oh yeah. You got to tell me like it is. Tell me. Can lead to a condition. But, oh, but baby, I know the cure. I know that we can work it out. Tell me what you're all about. That's one thing I know for sure. Can lead to a condition. Oh, but baby, I know the cure. I know that we can work it out. Just tell me what you're all about. That's one thing that I know for sure. You got to tell me like it is. Tell me. Tell me like it is, Lord. Tell me like it is. Tell me like it is. Tell me like it is, oh yeah. So um, I maybe didn't mention this earlier, but we've been uh, we've been promoting this. We wanted this to feel like after the show tonight, like there's still a chance that we get a chance to to be somewhat interactive or as interactive as as we can be with everybody that's tuned in. Thank you again for tuning in tonight. So after the show, we're going to do a little Q and A, and you can send up your questions uh, there on Facebook. You can just post directly. And uh, hello to uh, our dear friend Gail Broderick that is out there going through the questions, and then she's going to send them to us after, and we're going to sit down uh, a post show, and you know uh, we'll answer whatever questions that you might have. It can be about anything, and it can be um, for anybody here. So. While I'm at it, I want to say thank you. Dave Midlow is doing the video right here, doing a fantastic job. And the great Wayne Cochran is over on audio, doing audio for us, everybody. So hopefully things are, it's feeling amazing in this room right now.
it's feeling awesome in the room, so I want to say thank you so much to these guys. And uh, as you know, tonight is, is a free event, so uh, I'm not going to harp on this too much because we're in uh, you know, financially lean times for many of us out there. And I hope you're all doing well and, and being safe and, uh, and all that. This is a really critical time, I think. So, uh, but having said all that, if you feel like you wanted to send a little something along to the band and the team of people here tonight, you can do that via PayPal. Um, or you can also do it via e-transfer, and uh, those links will be in the, in the description down below. Or they'll be on there somewhere, I think, anyway. So, uh, hope you're enjoying it, and uh, we're going to play some more music for you. Not too much talking, more music. What do you guys think? I swear I did not plan that segue. Oh, come on. We worked on that all afternoon. Tired of talking is the next... The next tune that we're going to play. By the way, some more shameless self-promotion here. You can head over to stevestrongman.com and find anything you need right there. You see that? See what I did there? Did I put that in there? Yeah, stevestrongman.com. This is one we recorded down in Nashville, and it uh, goes like this. Another one from that record called Just Ain't Right.
don't belong Maybe what you see isn't always what you get I keep telling you, but you haven't heard me yet Now your friends are saying that I'm doing nothing good And they fill your head like I always knew they would Now you're feeling down, you got turned around I don't want to fight cause you know that just ain't right Just ain't Thank you. That's called Just Ain't Right. It's um, it's very strange to. <laughs> I'm. Ha it's so fun because I did one of these before. Thank you, thank you, Wayne. I did one of these before, and it was just me all by myself. So I wanted to do something a little bit different this time. And uh, I, I've got uh, two of the greatest bandmates that you could ever have. And these guys are two of my best friends in the whole world. And I'm so lucky to get a chance to travel all over the world and play music with them. So when I said, "Hey, we got to do something," this is what we came up with. We have a, a beautiful space here. Dave has a beautiful space here coming out to you from 51 Sounds Recording Studio in Hamilton. So I want to say thank you so much to all of these guys right here because they're so awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Yes. Right. Now we did a, we did a video um, for this, uh, this next tune. And uh, to all the people that were, <laughs> that were out there for the video, it was a long day, but it was a lot of fun. So I'm going to send this one out. This is called Paid My Dues, and this is all the people that were out there. Send this out to the people that are in part of the video, which is also on YouTube, and you can check it all out and all that stuff. So this is Paid My Dues.
won't take it. Take is what you always do. I'm giving it all. Take the shirt off my back. You're looking for more. Got your hand on my stack. Wanna know what it's like? Walk up out of my shoes. I feel at pain. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you. I can I can feel the connection. I, I, again, I can't see what people are posting, so I can't respond to exactly what what it is that you're putting out there. But uh, I can feel the energy. Can you feel it? Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna switch gears just for a second here. Believe it or not, it's really warming up in here. <laughs> yeah. So Colin's going to grab this absolutely gorgeous instrument that he has. Colin, what year is that bass from, buddy? We don't know. It's called a tweener, so all they know is it's from identifying markings and stuff. There were so many made back then that we don't, uh, we're not sure. There's no data on it or anything, but we think it's uh, a tweener bass meaning between the end of World War One and beginning of World War Two. It also could be a pile of bullshit, but the guy that sold it to me. Charge Pretty convincing. For that story. Yeah. Good. So, this is also on the record. Uh, tired of talking. I, I wrote this song. Uh, it was a few few years back that I wrote this one, and uh, I actually um, I love the version. Of my my good buddy Rob Zabo, who's uh, hopefully out there watching. Robert, I love you, man. Hope you're doing all right. Uh, Rob did a version of this song on his record, and uh, it just, uh, I, I always like to play it, and um, um, when we were working on Tired of Talking, it was actually that man right there, Dave King, who said uh, we need to put that song on there, and I was really happy about that because I really like this tune, so so uh, I used to play this at uh, at Slauncher Irish Pub on Sunday nights. I used to play this tune, and, and uh, there was a wonderful hand group of uh, group regulars that used to come out every single Sunday, and a few of them even asked for this tune. So uh, this goes out to you people that have been supporting me for, for years and years and years. So. I wanna do 
is write my song in the words I've done. Funny how they point to you. So I don't think I'm going to sleep tonight. Things would have to come together just right. And I don't think that I have that kind of fight. How did we end up like this when all I want from you is love and lust and Heaps of trust that won't stop when I do. So I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight. Things would have to come together just right. And I don't think that I have that kind. Left in me. I'm not as strong as I seem. No, I don't think that I have that kind of fight. So damn beautiful with all those little faults. When all I want is for you to love me, but maybe you don't. So I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight. Think would have to come together just right and I don't think that I have that kind of fight left in me no I don't think that I have that kind of fight That's called that kind of fight. That's an all drink after that. Everybody grab you. You got to grab your glass after that now, I, I think. Are you still with me out there, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you still are. I hope you still are. So, uh, Tonight we decided that we're gonna we're gonna try and keep keep the show at uh, just under an hour ish. As I mentioned earlier, we are doing the Q and A, so I hope you guys are sending up some some questions. People out there are getting some questions, and uh, once again, I want to say thank you so much to Gail Broderick who is helping out. She was helping us out with the live feed. Gail, you're awesome, and I hope you guys are having fun. Thank you so much. Give her a hand. Yeah, we're all we're all giving you a hand, Gail. Thank you for your help. Now, you might have thought I was just going to let this beautiful Cherry 335. It's actually Candy Apple Red 335 for you guitar aficionados out there. Um, i got to play this one now, I think so. You also may be wondering, why are you guys wearing headphones? Maybe that's uh, something. And uh, the reason for that is we have a whole bunch of live mics up in the room. Everything is 
is mic'd up live, and Wayne's doing a phenomenal job audio-wise, and we wanted to make sure that we could keep things as as smooth as possible, so we're, we're playing in headphones, and I got to say, I rather like it. It's just, it's pretty cool, you know? <laughs> it's it's very different. What else could be different about a show like this? <laughs> what else could be different? Oh, man. Uh, so... See, it's just like a real show. It's just, well, not quite exactly like a real show, but it's the closest thing that we can get for you. So I'm going to do a song that is a cover song. I did not write this song, but I've been playing it for, for many, many, many years. And I usually like to say, if you don't know this song, if you just want to think that I wrote it, that's completely fine with me. So Let me get this bad boy in tune. <laughs> All right, this is one by the fantastic Al Green. you want to do It's all right with me You make me feel so brand new And I want to spend my life with you Let me say he seems Since we've been together, ooh, loving you forever is what I need. Let me be the one you come running.
All right, that's Reverend Al Green there for you all. Let's stay together. Thank you. Are you still with us? I hope you're still out there. We still got people. I'm getting thumbs up from people in the room, so that's a good sign. We got time for a few more songs. Like I said, tonight was the first of what I, I sincerely hope is many of these um, we're, we're doing tonight just to see how it all goes and see how it all feels, and partly because a lot of us don't really know what uh, what's going to be happening, but uh, as I said earlier, it is just an absolute thrill to get a chance to to play music with a band, quote-unquote, live for, for all of you tonight, so uh, I hope you're enjoying this, and... Uh, this will be posted after. It's not going to be gone or anything like that. So you can uh, share the link with as many people as uh, as you would like to. It would be fantastic. And they can all check this out. So. We're going to do a tune from Tired of Talking called Can't Have It All. If I can't have it all, I'll take just a little bit. If I can't have it all, I'll take just a little bit. All I need is just a little bit. All I need is just a little bit. When it comes to you, there's never enough. Always need some more. I can't have you all myself. That I know for sure. If I can't have it all. I take just a little bit. Oh, if I can't have it all. I take just a little bit. All I need is just a little bit. I know I'm a lucky man. Baby, that's a fact. I'm gonna try to do all I can to keep you coming back. But if I can't have it all. Take just a little bit. If I can't have it all, I take just a little bit. Oh, all I need is just a little bit. Just ain't right. Something that I got to have to get me through the night. But if I can't have it all, I'll take just a little bit. If I can't have it all, I'll take just a little bit. Oh, if I can have it all, I'll take just a little bit. All I need is just a little bit. One more song, everybody. I got one more song. Stick around. Please stick around. And don't worry. You know, we're going to come. We're going to have a little Q&A, so get yourself a refreshment. And don't go anywhere. Tell all your friends we're going to be hanging out for a few minutes right after this next tune. So there'll be a very, very brief pause for us to turn around a few cameras. Don't forget, if you're enjoying yourself and if you're able to, 
you can tip the band via PayPal at PayPal me, Steve Strongman, or via e-transfer at steve at stevestrongman.com. Thank you so much for your support. We love you guys. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Please be safe. Take care of each other. Have some kindness out there, and everything's going to be fine. We will get through this. We will get through it. Everything's going to be all right. This is all about living the dream. All about living the dream. Whatever you are 
And we're back, as promised. Uh, here we are uh, once again. Dave King, right here. Colin Lapsley, right here. I'm Steve Strongman. Thanks to Wayne Cochran for doing all the audio this evening, and thanks to Dave Mydlow over there for doing all the video for us. So we did a quick little turnaround, and uh, 
I'm told that we have a, a few questions here. We wanted this to feel as much like a, um, you know, like a gig as, as, as we possibly could. And uh, part of, you know, what we love to do is after a show, um, you know, you feel great after playing music for people and you get out there and get a chance to have some, uh, some connection with them. So this has to be a virtual connection because of the situation. But having said that, I think Colin Lapsley has a question here. It's true. So, uh, Gail, our uh, remote administrator, has been sending me the questions during the show. So I'm going to read them out to Steve and let him fly with them. Uh, so Richard is asking, Steve, how much writing have you done during COVID? What have you been doing during the, uh, the COVID break? What, how is your life as a musician different? Richard, excellent question. Um, early on in the whole COVID experience, I was, um, I was just playing and practicing and trying to do uh, a lot. I didn't know how long it was going to go on for. But it's not until uh, more recently that I've actually started writing a lot more. Um, for me, uh, using that writing muscle is something that, that I don't just wake up every day and decide I have to write. It, it always helps me to have a purpose in mind. So uh, I have started doing a lot more writing uh, during this time. And I, I know a lot of musicians that I've been talking to, it's better to have an outlet, I think, sometimes. Like, you can write all the tunes you want, but it's great if you have... An outlet to play them or if you want to try them out live with people and see how that goes so initially that was a little difficult for me but I'm, I'm definitely writing now I was actually just writing last week so thank you Richard for the question writing and on that topic uh, Paul is asking do you think this sort of concert is going to stick around is this something we'll be doing uh, I, I think right now basically and you guys jump in on this too I think this is this is all that we have right now this is the only way that we can that we can actually get a chance to play music together and, and this is all we can do. So there, with the obvious negatives during this entire situation, there's been a lot of positives and, and I'm, I'm trying to focus on those as much as possible. I've spent a lot of time with my family. It's been like incredible hanging out with, with my wife and kids and, and getting that uninterrupted time that I've really never had in my whole life. I've worked on my hairstyle. <laughs> my wife's still here today. Coming along. Styling. Yeah, so I, I do think that, um, you know, taking, if, if, if you could say taking advantage of a situation like this, I don't think you can really take advantage of it. But like I said, I think that this is, is here to stay and getting a chance to actually have a connection. I would look at this almost as something I, I'd like to keep moving forward with, no matter what happens, to always have this this element of, of what, we're, what we're doing now. So even when we get back to, to touring and, and playing shows, still have some aspect of what it is that you're seeing here tonight, I think is very, very cool. And uh, Dave and I have done a lot of talking around mm -hmm. perhaps having a semi-regular um, concert like tonight, perhaps bringing in some special guests. We're not sure exactly what it would look like. So uh, like by Mr. all means. Like Mr. Rogers. Yeah, like When like somebody Mr. knocks Rogers. at the door. Hi there. <laughs> Who's at the door? Who could it be this evening? Oh, there, oh, oh it's Harrison Kennedy. Oh, hi, <laughs> hi Harry. That would come be on, awesome. Come on in. Would you like to sing a song? <laughs> Maybe play some harp? So, yeah, I guess, I, I mean, that. I, I think a lot of musicians are, are doing this. And, uh, you know, in a world where we don't have any sports right now, and, you know, that's likely to change at some point relatively soon. But uh, I would like to... We're going to form still, a sports team. Still try and have that connection with, with, with people and keep this, keep this moving forward. Yeah. So if you want to see more mm -hmm. concerts, by all means post on there and and I will go back and look at all these posts yeah. and as far as live coming back it's going to be weird it's not going to be when Doug Ford or whomever is in charge of your province or state lets you know it's going to be when people are comfortable to do this right it the the regulations in the states through openings are one thing but if you're not comfy sitting in a theater or a field with a bunch of people watching a festival I think this is probably the medium we're going to be dealing with I don't think it's right? going to go away I I, yeah. I think this might be a standard of sorts um, no way can it replace live shows but it can be in addition to and we can do some cool things with it finesse it a bit and you know present new material and uh, do things maybe you wouldn't be comfortable doing on stage in a regular kind of a you know major show environment mm -hmm. you know? yeah so I mean definitely for me I'm uh, you know with with the band too but I'm, I'm personally gonna be doing a lot more stuff on online and I've got a lot of different ideas so uh, you know basically just kind of stay tuned to what it is that we're doing and you'll, you'll hear about all of them and if this uh, if this has gone well tonight and people really enjoy it, then by all means we'll do another one for sure. Uh, can you do a quick gear rundown of, of your rig? Don't get into it because we'll all fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, um, um, you know what? You, you know, I just had this idea. What I'm going to do about this? Is this is from Ken Zap. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> thank you, Ken, for asking me about the gear. I love that that stuff too. So you know what I'm going to do after this, Ken? I'm going to do a little rig rundown um, of of the setup that I have here tonight, and I'll go into some. We'll you know get it on camera. But uh, basically, I have my my pedal board and touring rig. I won't go through all that right now, but I will do it after. I'll do a little standalone two, three minute thing and uh, I'll probably post it on YouTube or you can send me an email, steve at stevestrongly.com and I'll make sure I send you the video. A little shout out to our friends from the USA. We got a bunch on apparently, Gail is telling us. That's very cool. Hey. Hey. Uh, factoid question, how long has the band been together? Go. Oh, how? Faster. That, man, really? I, 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 don't, I don't actually know. I know that I've been, <laughs> I've been playing music with Dave now um, I'm going to say, how long has that been now, Dave? 24, 25 years. 25 years. Dave and I have been playing together for 25 years. And um, if, if it's not 25 for you and I, it's pretty close, close. I think. I'm going to think. I came back from yeah. university in like 95, and we started right then. So Yeah. Whoa. So but We started doing this in 2006. So I got home yeah. from Europe, and you called and said, hey, um, what are you doing, man? Yeah, so that was 2006. So Honey came out. Years. Honey came out in 2006, and uh, Dave started playing with me shortly after that. So, um, you know, these guys like to give me a hard time, but uh, thankfully I must be doing something right because we've been playing together for like 25 so years. So about the Benjamins. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure it is. Bullshit walk. <laughs> uh, Wendy would like to know: Was there one artist that springs to mind that was an honor to perform with and sing with, or just meet? Yes, thank you, uh, Wendy. I, I'm really in a lucky position with that question because I've had several that of artists that were uh, just amazing. I, I thought I'd never get a chance to. One that leaps to mind, of course, uh, is BB King. If I had to single out one person, and it's not just because he's he was all the things that 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 he is and was rather. Um, it's more because he was such a gracious person. He was so incredibly nice with us. And it was a really special night for me because it's in uh, where I was born, Kitchener, Ontario. I got a chance to play the center in the square with BB King. Uh, that was pretty amazing. Obviously, Buddy Guy, um, I've I've met and played with several times, so he's another really kind of special one. Um, Johnny but, Winter for me. That was yeah, I, I was gonna just say I want to throw this Johnny. out to the guy. So we, yeah. we we played and Edgar Winter too. And we opened Edgar, for, yeah. for Edgar Winter too, which was great. Johnny Winter is amazing. What about for you, Colin? Oh man. You're just an ember playing with me every night. You can't even get it, over the it's, fact you know, that you've been It's got to be Dave King. Yeah. Really. <laughs> there, I, I can say with all honesty, there is nothing like being in a room with this man. <laughs> <laughs> just, do you see what it's like it, for it, me, it's, people? You're getting a bird's eye view of what it's like. It's a very special experience. Shout out to our friends uh, at Steam Whistle. I'm just going to put that out there. Shout out to our friends at Steam Whistle. All right. <laughs> Steve, uh, Brian heard some country in your playing. Can you comment on that? Yes, absolutely, Brian. Um... So, uh, in my early 20s, I, um, uh, I toured with a, a country band, a country show band called the Goose Family from Waterloo, Ontario. I love them. They're awesome. Hello to all the Goose people out there. They're wicked. Especially, yeah. especially our, friend Shane, our, our friend Shane, who I've done some work with recently. He's just a huge talent. Absolutely amazing. So, all this is to say that I got bit by the country guitar-influenced bug, uh, mostly because of a, a great guitar player named Danny Gatton. And he plays with a hybrid style, which means picking fingers, but I won't go too much into the details of that. But yeah, there's definitely a country influence. But one of the things that I love about, uh, about many guitar players, and I certainly try and do this, is when you hear a guitar player, you can tell that it's them and they have a sound and a signature style of playing. Uh, nobody was better than Mel Brown uh, than that. You know, anytime you, you heard somebody like Mel play, you knew it was Mel Brown. So I try and have that signature sound for me. Um, I still hear everything as blues, whether it's country influence stuff or um, what kind of style I'm playing, but I have a very wide, wide taste in, in, in guitar players. But thank you for noticing. Yes, there's definitely some country in there. I love that stuff. Uh, a few people are asking where, where all the three of us are from. All right, I'll let Colin start with that. Uh, I'm from Ancaster, Ontario. About 15 years ago, we were swallowed up by the city of Hamilton, but uh, we're leading the rebellion. The, the revolution will not be televised. David? Boy, can't get any more local than this. Mm -hmm. uh, East Mountain of, of Hamilton. I was born about a mile that way. And mm -hmm. born and raised here, grew up uh, on the East Mountain, and we have 
returned, my wife and I. Um, so yeah, from this hood right here. Shout out to East Mountain folk, Ricky Stokel. <laughs> hey Rick, I think you said hello uh, yep. right back at you, all my East Mountain folk. And uh, I was born in Kitchener uh, and raised in Kitchener for the first 21 years of, of my life. Had some incredible, incredible times there. I love Kitchener. And then I came to Hamilton because my, uh, my wife, my girlfriend at the time, she was from Hamilton. But uh, I have very incredibly strong Hamilton ties. My, my mom's from uh, Hamilton. My dad's from Hamilton. I have tons of family here from Hamilton that are all watching. I love you guys. Uh, my two older brothers were born here in Hamilton. And then uh, myself and my younger brother were born in Kitchener. So I, I feel very fortunate in a lot of ways. I kind of feel like I have, I have two homes, two hometowns, I mean. But uh, Hamilton's been, been wonderful, and I, I love it here. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a, a great experience, both, both of those cities for sure. So this is a little awkward for me because usually you know, we enjoy taking the piss out of Steve. So by this question, I have to compliment him. So I just want to be clear. These are not my words, Steve. <laughs> um, so you're such a kick-ass guitar player that sometimes your singing is overlooked, but your singing was fantastic tonight. Do you have any vocal influences? Oh, my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that would have hurt hurt him to give oh, me a compliment yeah. like that. Thank you, whoever who was that from? Did it say who was there? Thank you very much. I um, that was from Wendy as well. That's her second. Question. Thank you, Wendy. Um, so, I originally started singing. People don't know this. I started singing in high school because we were just going to start a band and we needed a singer. And any singers that came out, they weren't very good, and we couldn't find anybody better. And then all of a sudden, the guys in my band said, "You know, you sound pretty good. Why don't you just sing?" So I, I love I love singing I uh, I, I take it um, very seriously and I'm constantly working on it and I, I especially probably more than ever this last record tired of talking uh, my the producer of that record which is this man right here uh, he gave me a really hard time with vocals on this and we really wanted to am I correct about that Dave we really wanted to showcase the the vocal aspect of what it is that just, I do yeah as well. just up the game as much as we could and uh, Steve in my personal opinion, really rose the occasion. It's very tough. Uh, singing is something that's um, near and dear to my heart growing up with the Beatles as a kid, you know, so that's kind of your watermark when you're growing up. Um, no auto-tune, uh, singing live, sometimes no monitors. So singing uh, really well is an overlooked uh, commodity in this day and age. Yeah. And I, I agree with Wendy, Steve has got a great voice and uh, we wanted to showcase that on this record. So just going for all the detail and all the subtlety in his voice and bringing that stuff out on, on this recording, uh, I think was something that we spent a lot of time contouring. And I, I think Steve did certainly rise to the occasion, but I'm a little biased. So, Yeah, so uh, that's a great comment. I, um, I appreciate it very much because, yeah, I do work at it all the time. And uh, singing's tough, you know. It seems like with guitar, you can pretty much grab a guitar and you can sort of just play, but the, the human voice doesn't always react the way that you want it to some days and Colin Colin's a great singer and, and Dave is too so do you guys say anything about that like nowhere to hide right when you're playing your instrument uh, yes. even if you're completely unwell almost not able to walk I didn't say drunk no. but um, if <laughs> if you're you know you can still get through the show you can still play like I've been really you know quite ill um, on a couple of shows and you just get up and and you smile and make it happen but if you're a, a front person or a, or a singer it's very difficult to be anywhere but right there. And that's the most honest part of what we do in terms of delivery because, like I say, there's, there's nothing between us. With this, we have an instrument, but yeah. the voice is just so expressive, and it's the source of, yeah. of your, your emotion. your body. It, it, it delivering the song. Your instrument is, is your body. It's, yeah. If it's not happening, it's not happening. It's yeah. a tough one. So um, I, I, think that, uh, I think that we've hit our, our well, around our our time allotment that we said that we were we were going to do but uh, again I want to say sincerely thank you so much to everybody for for tuning in and uh, I got to say the team of people that we have here tonight my band including again Wayne and and Dave uh, it's a very special thing because when I called these guys and just said well I have an idea we're going to do a show and we're not going to we're not going to make it a ticketed event or anything like that uh, we just want to try and give give some music to some people these guys were right on board and uh, I really appreciate it. This has taken all of us uh, a lot of a lot of work to try and get the best possible presentation that we can for you. 
And uh, so thank you guys. Thank you, everybody. And, um, Wayne and Dave. We will do Wayne, it again. Wayne we will do Dave. it again. So, uh, so please put your comments in there. And, and again, we appreciate your support, everybody. Please stay safe, stay well, and uh, we will see you soon, I hope. Thank you. Good.